I do. You bright? I feel bright. You are bright, but you're always bright, my friend. You mean intelligent wise, or just? Just generally, just uh, I think you're always sort of uh, you're you're a bright light in my life. Look at this. The crow flies straight. I know you like <laughs> my crow. There he is. Wow. What? Uh, uh, where are you? I'm at my place, but I've painted yeah. it since I've been here. Oh, there oh, we are. Oh, you got you got you got him in there. Oh yeah. yeah. We're, in a, we're in a woman's bathroom I'm, in upstate. And what do you mean him? I'm him now. Jesus. I, I, I can see both of you. Actually, I, I, I thought. I thought, I, swear. I, thought was, I thought that he was your penis. He is. But he's on my penis. Our pants are on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where, where, where are where are you guys? In a woman's bathroom. We just said. We're in a woman's bathroom. You'd like to see? Yes. In upstate New York. Wow. Yeah. You're in a in woman's there. bathroom. You looking for this tampons? Is, there's no women in here, as of right now. <laughs> that is, you guys, you got to lead with like a better thing. It's like we're with women in a women's bathroom. Oh, well, yeah. I, I asked. I asked them already. They all declined. It's 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 very. <laughs> Who's it's very lady funny. up the top? I can't say. Hold on. Can't hear anything. People, they're everywhere. So yes. how are you, buddy? I'm good, buddy. I'm good. Thanks for uh, thanks for joining us on whatever the fuck this is. But uh, uh, where are you guys? Where in upstate New York are you? Waterton, New York, just below uh, Kingston, Ontario. Why? Uh, and what? and what? And why are you there? Because we're doing shit for you, Sutter. We're signing oh. fucking autographs and oh. me and the babies and the, you know. Oh, two, two thousand people in three hours for uh, yeah. for to see yeah, Jake's hair. Yeah. Hey, 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 pretending and like cool. they're not there trying to have sex with drunken women. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell the truth. <laughs> Nancy, where are you? Somewhere in some lair? Are you in a lair? Where is he? I'm at there. home wearing my 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 Texas tuxedo as yeah, Charlie. I got a Texas tuxedo that much, so. uh -huh. I, don't, what, I don't have my pants but, on right now, so I'm cool. This is the closest thing I've ever had to a menage. I just want you to know. <laughs> I, I'm between. I have. I have a. I have a beautiful blonde in the corners watching me. Yeah. And then I have. Uh, working. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So should we get up? Should we see if she has a question? Being she's the only one that clearly is is bothering to join us. It's 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 three of us and this and this young woman above. So uh, honestly, I just want gloat material because my fiance got me into the show whenever it started, and I'm talking to you. So you have do you have a question? Um, I wish I did, but I'm kind of still shocked. So if I think of something, I'll let you know. I'm, I'm sure Theo can 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 oh. answer. Yeah, Theo, definitely. Go, Theo. Well, thank you. Thank you for joining us. And, and uh, uh, <laughs> I feel like we're, we, we should be like a camp where we say over, like walkie-talkie, so we know when we're done talking. Right. Oh, you flipped up your, oh, I flipped up your glasses. Ah, that's very, that's very techno. Um we have somebody else here. Uh, somebody else has a question in the. What do you? Somebody else has a question in the corner up here. Uh, number three. The Marty. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Mr. Manson? So I guess you said fuck it with the bucket. Oh no, I'm gonna do the bucket. It's just I didn't want to overload. Today was the day that I have to deal with this more important deal, which is. Uh, my day job with my boss man right there, Kurt Sutter. Awesome. So I'm gonna do the bucket later. Rob Patterson, <laughs> kid, boss of me. I, I refuse to do the bucket. No, I just, I just wrote you? a check. Theo, did you do the bucket? I, you know, uh, who's got time? Who's got time to do the bucket? Been water okay. skiing a little bit of hiatus in your big show, Kurt. Who's got time to dump cold water on my head? That's we did, true. We did. We did. We we did a lot of donations for ALS. Yeah, and, we did. And uh, you know, the the truth is, you know, he wanted to show everybody his beach body, but uh, we're gonna just stick with the donations of this uh, for ALS. Right. I hear you. I hear you. I've been uh, I've been called out like three or four times, and now I don't care. Yeah. 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 I here's what I feel. I feel like. Lou Gehrig is even bothered by all of this. Is that wrong? 
They, 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 did, Not, they did raise a ton of money. A lot of money, 600000 I know. I'm kidding. I kid. I kid. I did. I wrote the check. <laughs> I, just, I just couldn't dump a bucket on I my head. I like throwing baseballs at people's faces because he was a baseball player, right? He, he was. That's very good. <laughs> he was. He, was. he played baseball. That's cool. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, we have other questions. Let's open up uh, number two. In your two. Is that me? That's you. Do you have a question? I have a question about Jack. He didn't have to prove himself to Ron Tolley, right? Actually. Yeah. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> Dark haired girl, I'm stop. Um, Wait. so is that gonna be a turning point for Jax when he has to prove what he has to to Ron's character? Uh, I'm sure I have an opinion about that, and Manson has a completely different opinion about that. But um, uh, I wouldn't say he has to prove himself. I think um, the character of Tully for us is, uh, you know, he's this shot caller that's in the prison system. And, uh, you know, so much of their lives and so much of, um, of how they do business um, uh, uh, originates or, or travels through the prison system. And I think right. now that we've basically killed everybody else that was in jail, that I, I, I really, you know, I wanted to create a character that has some weight um, and that Jax, you know, um, would have to engage with. So throughout the, throughout the course of the season, um, he has uh, these, um, I don't know, like, I guess Tully's in four or five episodes. And uh, so it, it, he, uh, <laughs> or man, it's like, uh, no, he's in 11 episodes. Uh, he's, uh, uh, How much so. Throughout the course of the season, um, he's sort of pulling the strings of what's going on um, uh, with, uh, you know, sort of uh, the white supremacists, and and uh, um, and Jack sort of has to navigate around that relationships, and and like all relationships, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes there's conflict, and sometimes there's not. So, uh, um, but I, I don't know if it's a turning point as much as it is a critical relationship. In, uh, in Jax's sort of um, uh, agenda this season, if that makes sense. Would you say that's true, yeah. Manson? Um, I'm, you know what, the way that, uh, that, that, that we do things, it's always, I've learned a lot from Paris, the, you know, that's directed some of them, and most the bulk of the bunch, and, and I've also learned a lot from Charlie, but it's, it's very hard being a newcomer on the show with someone who's obviously been there the whole show. So he he gives me a lot of advice and we always have this look, but we had a punching contest and he I still have a knot on my arm. We were it was very like sort of like high school. Right. But yeah. I've been it, smart it was enough like to take that stuff and, and he you know it's hard. You you create these great characters, and you got great actors, and I'm just happy to be a part of it. And you know, I you notice that I've lost my southern accent, but I'll retain mm. that when we get back to. It. But um, I was really impressed by the scene that we won't divulge that uh, Kim did, uh, which was I expected it to be something else. Mm. Kim, you're great. Some broken <laughs> style, great, and but. Kurt, I just think that mostly uh, the character, I don't really know how to develop it, so that's why I asked you. And, you know, I'm, just, you know, I'm a newcomer to this, but I know how to act as an asshole and act on stage. But I'm, I'm trying to act as the character that you created. And No, it's, it's interesting just watching, you know, I just watched, uh, we just locked episode six, and, you know, even the progression... Uh, in those first few episodes, uh, um, uh, watching the work uh, in episode six, I could just tell you were much more comfortable with the character. You had a much better sense of who he was. You know what I mean? And, uh, uh, and you. Thank you. Yeah. And, uh, um, and my favorite line, I think, uh, and I won't divulge the line, but you know what line I'm talking about. In the that one scene. with see, episode one? No, no. In, in, the la in episode six... Oh. When he asks you about, you know, uh, about um, uh, 
uh, you know, oh. what what you really represent and what you're doing. And you oh. say it's all about protecting something. And and uh, and and that's I think that's my favorite line in in uh, in that episode. And and uh, and uh, you do a great job with that. Um, Thank you. That was a, that was a funny one to me, but I didn't want it to be too funny. Obviously, it's uh, right. Jack, see, Jax is like we we developed sort of a rapport over the the brief times that we worked together, where it got to be where he he does that wink. Charlie does that wink. Right, right, right. He does that wink that kind of says, "I'm so handsome. It's not right. <laughs> not right. You're handsome." Wink. Right. Let's uh, let's go to a question. Let's go to box uh, four, I believe. The young uh, young lady in the uh, reddish hoodie. Hi. Um, I was just wondering, like, with like casting all like the guest stars and everything, what's the process behind them? Do you ask them, or is it people who have said they wanted to get involved or anything? Um, I mean, some of the guest cast is just cast like we would, you know, any other any other role, and we bring in people and we audition and we we read people. Um, um, you know, some of the more um, uh, high-profile ones, uh, obviously, um, you know, I met, uh, I met Manson uh, through, uh, uh, through Shooter Jennings, who is a mutual friend of ours, and we were working on um, some music together and <clears throat> found out he was a big fan of the show and, um, and uh, uh, I think uh, started, you started stalking all my actors and... Uh, uh, um, and, uh, we just had, uh, we just had conversations and, uh, and, you know, it wasn't so much about creating the character for him, but as we were moving through the season, you know, I'll come, all these characters will sort of come up and, and I always try to think what's a, a really, you know, organic, but very, but a, an interesting way to cast it, you know, like and, Frank, uh, Courtney Love, a, a teacher was nice. Yeah, but yeah. I was immediately, I thought. Kurt and Courtney. Kurt Sutter. It is. It's uh, there's, it's symbiotic. But um, uh, um, uh, but um, uh, yeah. So to you know have Manson uh, come on the show and and uh, and do this role. I you know I love doing stuff like that. That's sort of a little out of the box. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, I've got to know Courtney a little bit. I was a huge Nirvana fan and. Uh, um, and uh, I actually, you know, I initially reached out to her on social media and we sort of became friends that way. And, uh, um, and, uh, you know, and, and to have a role come up of like, a uh, you know, a uh, of a kindergarten teacher or first grade teacher and, and cast Courtney Love is just, you know, it's just, uh, 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 you know, it just all sort of seems wrong in all the right ways. So, uh, um, but it, it, in terms of the other larger roles, um, uh, you know, we we tend to sort of do them in a more, um, uh, uh, it's not just me going, hey, let's get this actor. You know, I have, uh, you know, great directors. I have uh, uh, Wendy O'Brien, who's our casting director, is, is, uh, finds us great people. So those roles are done in a little bit more of a traditional way. Uh, box, Kurt, do, uh, Kurt, do you know that uh, you know what was a, the great surprise was that uh, Courtney and I have a history together, and I wouldn't say that she's very fond of me. We we toured together, and so it wasn't on the it wasn't on the day sheet. And I saw it, and I said, Charlie, you better watch yourself because you already you got you had that season two. Kurt Cobain just had the baby look, and you you better watch yourself. <laughs> She's all right in my book. She's a little bit, uh, uh, I don't know if she's uh, unfond of me. She said once that she hated me because she knew that I was in love with her and I was crazy because I won't admit it. And, and I just said, okay, whatever you, whatever you want to believe is fine with me. <laughs> if, if I, you know, there's so many women out there that think I'm crazy because, uh, you know, because, you're crazy. because crazy. I'm in love with because because I'm crazy. Because crazy is good. Yeah, yeah. And um, if you're rich, that makes you eccentric. So that's good. Too. That's true. That's true. So I'm, I'm just crazy. Uh, let's go to box uh, number three. Do you have a question? information you want to release about JT's writings, his manuscripts, is like a book? Yeah, I will. Um, you know, we just did a press release this week about um, uh, uh, 
we're going to do here's what ended up happening my plan was always to sort of release the life and death of sam crow at the um at the end of the series and to document ultimately what happened is as we start thinking more and more about doing this prequel um uh on the first nine which will be you know at this point we're thinking i'm thinking anyhow more in terms of being just a one-off like a mini series like maybe you know either 10 episodes or two eight episode seasons or something i f i felt like to put out that manuscript with his history before that aired was going to handcuff me too much do you know what i mean and and i didn't want to step on on what i could possibly do with that and yet i didn't want to counter any kind of mythology that i put out there so my plan now is to wait until we do the prequel and and then put it out because we'll actually see my sense is the end of that um the end of the prequel we'll see john teller starting to produce that manuscript or at least the process in beginning the writings um, so I think w what we've decided to do for fans is we're putting out um, this sort of monster um, uh, uh, like coffee table book um, at the end of the season that will have um, uh, interviews with all the all the actors. It'll have all this back um, behind the scenes photography. Um, it'll be you know it'll have um, some of the um, uh, lifts from some of the scripts. It'll be a sort of uh, um, a really um, uh, uh, all inclusive um, fan um, book. You know, and I and although it's obviously not the manuscript, I felt like I wanted to at least give people something, uh, a piece of the show at the end. Um, but uh, it really was about trying to preserve story and mythology so I don't sort of cross paths and and uh, uh, and step on uh, and, and step on potential ideas or story for for the prequel. So that's sort of where that lives right now, if that makes sense. Yeah. Theo, are you guys uh, are you guys leaving or? No, we're trying to we're trying to figure out a way to sit on a sink or on a counter. That sounds that sounds really unusually. Uh, well, but, but if you sit on the sink, it's gonna break. Uh, it's I so I... peculiar. <laughs> this has gotten more. Peculiar. I've never been in a woman's bathroom before. It's oh, so just... strange. I can't tell you, Eminem. Yes, you have. <laughs> I think you have been in a woman's bathroom before. Yeah. You know? They do have him last night. <laughs> <laughs> we found him in here. I yeah. didn't even know he was in town. Uh, but Kim Kirk. had to petition to play the young Unser in the prequel, by the way, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, there's a, there's a, there's a, I'm just watching the scroll, and, and clearly somebody that has no idea what the fuck we're doing just typed, what do these guys do as jobs? <laughs> 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 there it is. There, that says it all. That's the name of it. Yeah, that is, what the fuck? What the fuck are we doing here? Um, <laughs> it's almost time to wrap. Here's what I'm going to do. There's one more question, uh, and I'm going to put out. I'm going to put this question out to uh, uh, to Theo and Kim. Um, uh, if you could do an SOA crossover with any other show, what show would you do a crossover with? I think that would be the with with uh, our peeps that we were just with the crazy psychotic fans of True Blood. I thought that was really cool to. Uh, I thought that would that's like a perfect fit crossover with us oh, and True Blood. That's really I cool. Thought he was charmed. Yeah, or or, but you know you could see Tig on like any show. Actually. Game of Thrones, The Newsroom, <laughs> The Americans, CSI Buffalo, CSI. Yeah. CSI, Cyber CSI. And this guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, watch. Come on. Right. And here's one more question for uh, this question has been coming up a lot on the scroll uh, to you, Manson, about your Hollywood novel. Is that coming out soon? Uh, yeah. I've decided to, to consider making it into a miniseries inspired by you doing your long form thing but i think that i need to recruit somebody i'm not naming any names kurt setter that could, could uh, <laughs> so it's mostly a romantic science fiction novel about uh 
things that would involve uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that coming from your house, Manson, or from Theo's bathroom? I can't no, tell. That's, that's him. Not my house. My house is silent. <laughs> yeah. Kim, but I got, Kim's in the Kim's in the stall. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> You know, Kim can get away with going in the bathroom. So could I if I used my Marilyn, man, Marilyn girl name. But I think it sounds too sissy. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, this has been almost fun. Uh, <laughs> That's a good setter we know. That's a good uh, but uh, I will uh, thank you, uh, Matson. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to uh, uh, to figure out the technology here and join us. And uh, hopefully we can do it again. Theo and Kim, thank you yes. so much, guys, for uh, sure. taking time. You out. You're, yes, and you're, you're busy, uh, and I and I think it's fantastic. You're in a woman's restroom. I uh, that, that's a big bonus in my book. And, uh, <laughs>